Kia ora, hello, Mikko from Art Games Books here. Today I'd like to talk about how to wash up your brushes in an eco-friendly fashion. If you use acrylic paints, water mixable oil paints like I do, or anything that washes up in water, keep on watching. If you use something other than water to wash up your equipment, like turps, that won't be covered in the scope of this video, but there's plenty of good stuff elsewhere on the net about that, so no worries. Putting paint down the drain is not a good thing, and some paint tubes will tell you so straight to your face, like this titanium white here, so that symbol there means that this is toxic to aquatic life. Some things that I need to wash up, in the past my hands, but it's no longer the case, because I use gloves when I squeeze paint out of a tube. Quick and easy, simple solution. Nice to know that there's nothing potentially toxic getting on my skin and no chance of getting paint from my hands into my mouth because some pigments are very harmful if ingested. Another thing that I sometimes need to wash up is my gessoing brush. If you're not familiar with gessoing, basically it's a primer or underpaint that you put on your panel or canvas before you paint. I like to put on four layers and let it dry in between. When the layers are drying, rather than washing my brush each time, and it's quite a large brush to wash, I simply take a wet piece of paper towel and wrap up my brush like so. And also, I like to gesso lots of canvases in one session, rather than doing one today, one tomorrow, one the next day. It's just efficient that way too. The main thing, though, that I'm cleaning up are my painting tools. So. I don't generally go much bigger than a brush like this, so something like this is no hassle to clean up. A palette knife, both for mixing and painting, and a silicone shaper are both super easy to clean up. All you need to do is just wipe them down with a wet paper towel. Right, let's mosey on over to the wash basin now where I'll show you my green clean method for keeping my trusty tools in order. So here's my dirty paintbrush. I've got some deoxazine purple on there, which is a really strong and punchy color just to make things interesting. So if this doesn't go down the drain, where does it go? I googled waste management in my area and it said that if you have water washable paint and it's on a and it's in a dry state, like on a cloth, you can dispose of that in the mixed waste, which is much better than this going down the drain. So this is how I do it. First I put the plug in there, just to make sure nothing escapes down the drain. Then a wad of paper, in this case toilet paper, you could use paper towels. And then I have a small jar, especially for this job, and just a tiny bit of water, just a wee trickle. Because if you use lots of water, then you're going to need lots of paper to soak it up. Squirrel that around, get the worst off, like so. Pour it on the paper. A bit more water. More swirling. Okay, there's still some paint coming off the brush. At this stage of the game, I'm going to put some liquid soap in my jar. Tiny bit of water. More swirling. Still some purple in there. Sometimes I like to use the side of the wash basin and if anything runs off, it'll end up on the paper there. I find the side of the wash basin is easier than using, using the little jar just at the final stage of the cleaning up process here. And I've never had any trouble getting this water mixable oil paint off the white of the porcelain. So at the end of this, it will be a sparkling white wash basin once again. You can also wipe some of that off on some paper, a bit more water, 
little bit around. Still a little bit of purple in there. Keep going. Now that water looks nice and clear. So we can get rid of this paper. Put a bit more paper in there just to soak it up. And wipe the paint off the surface of the wash basin as well. And now we can remove the plug. Put some more soap on here so we can really properly clean up our paintbrush. Good thorough clean up. Take care of our equipment. And there are other things that you can use on paintbrushes to keep them in good order. But for now we're just looking at the basic cleaning up side of things. So nothing coming off the brush. It's all good and, and we're done. Just like that. So that's that. Heavy drain, heavy brush. By all means, do hit that like button. I'd love to read any comments you might have, and I'll do my very best to answer any questions. I also have a website, www.artgamesbooks.com. So there's photos, pictures of my paintings, art tips, and lots of good stuff there. Please feel free to check that out. This is my very first YouTube video ever. I hope it was okay. I'd like to make plenty, plenty more videos in future all about the wonderful topic of creativity, not just painting, but also arts and crafts, stuff for kids, creative writing, board games, outdoor games, and a little bit about the business side of art. Thank you to my friend Sam, who'll be doing the editing, and thank you very much for watching this. I hope you found this enjoyable and in some way useful. Until next time, bye-bye and have a nice day.